In a quarter of a mile, a wagoners roundabout take the second exit onto the parkway, A312. Exit the roundabout onto the parkway. Continue on the parkway for one mile. In a quarter of a mile, at Cranford Parkway Interchange, take the second exit onto the M4 slip road to Heathrow Airport, M25. Six zero six zero nine seven three. Let's get this uh, tweet on the air. My daughter and her friends couldn't celebrate their thirtieth birthdays together last year. They all complied with the rules. That's Susan. Uh, Francis on Twitter. We missed our fortieth Ruby wedding anniversary, twenty twenty. Can we celebrate wedding anniversaries as well as birthdays? Yes, of course, Francis. Happy, happy uh, wedding anniversary to you. Uh, Mag says my auntie was ninety on the twenty fourth of March. 2020. She was going to have a party with friends and family. I think that's just one day into lockdown, wasn't it, Max? She was going to have a party with friends and family. She didn't exit the roundabout onto the slip road. Two of her friends have died. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto M4. Party. Max, this won't make up for it, but uh, I hope the spirit of it gets to you and to her. 0345 6060 973. Be part of our virtual party for birthdays and we've decided wedding anniversaries. Now, the time on LBC is half past six. Amelia Cox has the news headlines.
This understood Sue Gray's report into allegations of Downing Street parties during lockdown could be released as early as tomorrow. Reports had suggested it would be delayed after the Metropolitan Police announced it's investigating the claims. Boris Johnson says the UK is prepared to deploy British troops to protect NATO allies in Europe if Russia invades Ukraine. Continue on M4 for three miles. Others would lose their sons in the event of an attack. And the deaths of Star Hobson and Arthur Levin Joe Hughes will now be investigated as one national inquiry. Bradford Council has been stripped of its child and social care services following the death of 16-month-old Star in September 2020. LBC Business Update. With Direct Line Landlord Insurance. Peace of mind with the emergency add-on. Unilever has confirmed plans to cut 1,500 jobs as part of changes to its global operations. The company, which owns brands including Marmite, Dove Soap and PG Tips, employs more than 6,000 people in the UK. LBC weather, rain clearing to leave the odd shower this evening, a low of one. This is LBC. If you've lost your car key or need a spare, search Car Key Solutions. Our auto locksmiths are here seven days a week, reaching you same day, anywhere in London and the home counties, getting you back on the road or securing your vehicle. For replacement car keys, vehicle security and protection, search Car Key Solutions, the team with thousands of five-star ratings. Car Key Solutions. Fast. Affordable. Trusted. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30, 30, 30, 30. Okay, I'm ready. Recording. Philip Schofield here. With We Buy Any Car, you can now get a quote in just 60... Ah, little sticks. I mean, what was wrong with 60 seconds? Sure, 30 seconds for a quote is easy for customers, but not for me. Take 52. To find out how much your car's worth in 30 seconds, enter your age number now at webuyanycar.com. See we've only card at concession phone. Tomorrow, 
Uh, certainly, as uh, these stories develop tonight, you can keep up to date with them. Ian Dale with you at 7. Tom Swarbrick is here at 10. I'm told, by the way, that uh, maybe, I can't promise anything, maybe LBC's political editor Theo Usherwood uh, will drop by before 7 o'clock. Uh, so I might pick his brain uh, as well as uh, empty what's in his Aldi bag. 0345 6060 973. You can text 84850. Tell me about the parties uh, you've missed. Rob in Portsmouth says, No wake for my father-in-law. No 18th birthday celebrations for my nephew. No 8th birthday party for my daughter. Yet Alexander Boris, the Fethel Johnson, thinks he's above the rules he and his colleagues made. Time to go, Boris. Time to go. Uh, this from Paul. I live in Oakham, about 150 miles away from my parents in Manchester. My mum had her 70th birthday in lockdown. We had to celebrate on the iPads over FaceTime. We sent her some champagne and toasted each other. In a quarter of a mile, it keep right to stay on M4. We were able to visit as Manchester also went into tier four. And this from Will on Twitter. My birthday is a few days after the Prime Minister's, and in June 2020, I celebrated my birthday by myself, but I wasn't alone. I had a birthday kebab to enjoy. It had candles... Keep right to stay on M4. 6060973. Daniel, nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, Eddie. How are you? I'm fine. Tell me about the party. Continue on M4 for four miles. On the 16th of June 2020, I turned 30. And, um, yeah, I wanted it to be a bit of a event, as you do. And um, the partner, bless us, did her best. Uh, we lived together and she made the house into a bit of a scavenger hunt for the two of us for presents. But, scavenger uh, hunt? Yeah, yeah, she, she decorated the deep room of the house and made it to a little bit of an event for the two of us. But uh, it still wasn't the same, as you know. You know, not seeing friends or family, locking parents away for, for what, you know, is their benefit, we thought. But, the pandemic and um, yeah we, we were due to go abroad but obviously couldn't for some reason so she made it as special as she could but it's still, uh, it's still very sad to hear about this latest re uh, revelation down the street room so. you feel sad but, yeah it, 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 i don't know why this particular thing about the birthday is just sad me a little bit more about you know the just not just me, but the people who miss significant events and not to bring it down into this part, but you know, the people who, who just lost somebody and uh, couldn't necessarily mourn them properly as well, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's um, sorry to bring it down into this part. No, not at all, I mean, Rob, Rob in Portsmouth was just making the point about he had no wake for his father in law it's not just about birthdays. Yeah, it's very, very sad, that it's very sad. What did you so, do Rob, for your partner's birthday? Uh, well, she, uh, she turns 30 this July, uh -huh. so... Uh, we're hoping for a very big event there, uh, you know, how could do, but uh, yeah, we, we've tried to, tried to make that special, and that once again was, uh, you know, just us, and uh, having a special meal inside, so we maybe a nice takeaway, something like that, but this year we're hoping for something special for the 30th, uh, you know, uh, restrictions permitted, you know what I mean, at this time, this July, so. Daniel, great to meet you, if, they're, uh, if you're still interested in cake, there is some just behind you. Excellent, thank you very much. All the best. Let me turn now to uh, Hilda. Hi, Hilda. How are you? Oh, hello, Eddie. I'm fine, thank you. I'm having a Bailey's and I'm enjoying the show. I can see you're having a Bailey's. I don't think I've ever seen a larger Bailey's. <laughs> no, only a little one. That's a pint glass, Hilda. <laughs> but listen, you're entitled. You must have missed a birthday. I did. I missed my 80th birthday. You're 80th? You don't look it. Oh, well, I'm more than that now. Well, you that are. was in 2020. <laughs> and what was that like? Well, I was, I was all alone. My husband was in hospital and we couldn't visit. In two miles, at Junction 6, take the A355 exit to Slough, Central. And then had a commotion outside. And my daughter, my granddaughters, they'd come around pouring with rain, absolutely pouring with rain. And they were standing in the rain singing, Happy Birthday to me. I had to stand in the hall and just watch them. Um, and then my granddaughter is a really good Irish dancer. She did a special dance for me and she was soaked through. And then off they went. And then I, I was all alone for the rest of my birthday. What was that like? It, well, just coat, don't you? Uh, and it was just acceptable because that was the way it was for lots of other people. But and what, what about now? How do you feel now about your missing birthday? Well, it's dreadful. It really is. It's unforgivable what's happened. Um, 
you know, I know my celebrity it, it, it's, it's really sad for so many people. Can I ask about your husband? No, um, well, my husband, um, he, he did come home a few weeks later, but he, he, he passed, actually passed away on the 17th of June, oh, which I'm was two sorry. days before Boris's birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, but my, uh, I've got a very good family. Well, I can, I I can hear that. that. I know they yeah, yeah, I, know I they couldn't have them that day, I'm afraid. Um, but then, as it was to... There's so many sad stories listening to you, you know, listening to the people saying that you feel so sorry for other, other people. It's always somebody wears off from you, they say. What were you able to do for the funeral and so on? Uh, no, we, we, we couldn't have uh, anybody. No. In a quarter of a mile, at junction 6, take the A355 exit to Slough, Central. The death of Prince Philip and the Queen's response struck you. Well, it did. It was a sad to see her all alone. And I completely understood how she felt. Exit at junction 6. But then, you just think there are some people like Boris and Cohen just in a quarter of a mile at the roundabout take the third exit onto Tuns Lane A355 your Baileys I'm going to get you more Baileys and, and I want you to have as much as you want okay and a piece of cake please it's done I'll make it happen Hilda. you stay You stay right there I'm going to go and get you some cake I'm so enjoying the show I listen to LBC all the time it kept me going really hard Good to hear, Hilda. Let me, uh, I'm going to get your Baileys and your cake first. Let me just grab a word with uh, Pat. Hi, Pat. Do you want cake? Oh, yes, please. A nice big slice. And cake. Pat for cake. Right. Tell me about you, Pat. Well, the, amongst a lot of things, um, my older brother was 80 in uh, May of 2020. Uh, my, one of my best friends was 80 in uh, January of 21. My son and uh, managed to get married, but we're still waiting to have the reception, which was in, he got married in 2020, and we still haven't had the reception yet. Oh. So it's hopefully this year. How do you feel about um, what's been going on in Downing Street? Um, I, I don't really like to swear on that. Right? Exit don't the don't roundabout swear. onto Tuns Lane. Please don't swear. Yeah, no, um, I've had a couple of glasses of wine, and if you could pour me another big one, that'd be great. Um, no, I'm just In a quarter of a mile, slight left towards Sippenham Lane. Um, he keeps saying, oh, it's only, you know, we work all day and we're together all day. It's just the fact that everyone else had to give up lots of things. That's what gets me. Um, we're told to wait for Sue Gray's report and maybe we'll get it uh, yeah. tomorrow, who knows. Do you need to wait for it? Have you made up your mind? I've made up my mind anyway, yes, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I just, I'm just i just disgusted by them. Pat, listen, you stay right there. I'm going to get your cake too. Uh, and more drink, I think. You need another drink. Uh, this from May. Uh, uh, thanks for Slight left time. towards Sippenham Lane. I certainly am. We were lucky enough to celebrate my husband Mark's 50th birthday on the 13th of May with two other friends in our bubble last year. It's heartbreaking for so many others who've missed out on last moments. Uh, Jed says... Continue for one and a half miles. She turned eight at the time, but still understood the precautions very clearly. As she said, to help keep Grandma and Grandad alive. I'm enjoying your party with a glass of Malbec in my hand whilst the daughter Freya has milk. A toast to your uh, good health. Well, a toast to, to your good health too, I think, uh, Jed. It's nice that um, people are uh, celebrating uh, along with us here at the LBC virtual birthday slash uh, wedding anniversary slash wake party. Let me know what sacrifices you've made terms of family celebrations over this last couple of years. 0345 6060 973. We'll update you on tonight's main news. There's lots happening, as you know. Here's Amelia Cox. Boris Johnson says he's willing to be interviewed by the police as part of an investigation into allegations of Downing Street parties during lockdown. The investigation into Star Hobson's death will now be included in a national inquiry which started following the murder of Arthur Lebin Joe Hughes. And the Welsh Government has announced face coverings will continue to be worn in schools until at least the February half term. LBC weather rain clearing to leave the odd 
shower this evening, a low of one. LBC Travel, I'm Dave. Golf on the M25 anti-clockwise. Two lanes stay closed between Junction 7 for the M23 and Junction 6 for Godstone because of an accident that are queues from Junction 9 for Leatherhead. On the M25 clockwise, the exit slip road at Junction 27 for the M11 is closed because of a shed load, so it's slow on the approach. There are also queues on the M25 clockwise because a car's broken down. That's between Junction 23 for the A1M and Junction 24 for Potter's Bar. There are also queues on the M40 northbound after an accident earlier on between the M25 and Junction 2 for Beaconsfield. And there are long delays on the North Circular Road going eastbound. It's taking around an hour to go from the Coney Hatch interchange in Fry and Barnet through to the Crooked Billet interchange in Walthamstow. Coming up at 7 on LBC, Ian Dale. Sue Gray has delivered her report. The Metropolitan Police commence an investigation into number 10. Will tomorrow be bright new dawn for the PM or cast him into outer darkness? Ian Dale on LBC. How you feel tomorrow starts with high-quality care at your local Nuffield Health Hospital. With consultant-led treatment and unlimited aftercare, our COVID-19 secure hospitals specialize in hip and knee surgery, cataract removal, and men's and women's health. From diagnosis to recovery, how you feel tomorrow starts today. Search Nuffield Health Hospitals. Facilities available at selected locations. Visit nuffieldhealth.com slash terms for details. Call Eddie Mayer, 0345 6060 973 LBC. You're a visionary, an entrepreneur, a passionate business owner, driven... Yards, turn left onto Buckingham Avenue. 